applauded for kind of wondering how we were going to do if we were actually going to play our best or if we were going to sort of like crash and burn. A lot of people have not knowing exactly what we were because, you know, it's a brand new team. Just based on sort of the names on the team, there was sort of a big hype train going for the team. Oh, Quidditch is a full contact co-ed sport based off of J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter books. In a Quidditch game, each team has one keeper, three chasers, two beaters, and a seeker. You get 10 points for every goal you score on any of the three hoops from the front or the back. Uh, your keeper is basically your goalie. They're trying to defend their hoops and they can also go up and score goals as well. Uh, the seeker is trying to find the golden snitch, which in our version of Quidditch is a person dressed in yellow and gold with a flag football penny on. Uh, so when the game starts, everybody has their eyes closed and the snitch is released and can run anywhere in a designated area to basically go hide. So while the game's going on on the field, you have your seekers running around trying to find the snitch and then uh, pull the flag football penny from the back of their shorts. When you do that, your team gets an extra 30 points and it ends the game. I was out with the rugby team one night and we were all at this bar and my friend was talking to a girl and then of course another girl tried to interrupt them so I went to go talk to her and she ended up being on the Quidditch team and she's like look I'll let you my friend keep talking to your friend if you come to Quidditch practice and I'm like okay fine like you know trying to do it for my friend trying to like take one for the boys and then end up going to practice and it was actually really fun so I stuck around and here we are like three years later still playing for some reason. Quidditch has basically given me sort of the community and the friendships that I've had throughout most of my university experiences. So it means a lot to me. I can't really say with any certainty what my university experience would have been without Quidditch because it's just been there since my second year right on through. North Star started when we realized Ottawa U was getting a little bit too big. There was way too many people in Ottawa U and way too many people who wanted to play. And a couple of us were getting really old and close to graduation or already graduated and wanted to keep playing. So North Star sort of came about as a way to keep the older players involved in the sport. So we all decided to get together and make a team. A couple of us who were still in university, like me and a couple other people, said, you know, like I'd rather play with my friends who I've been playing with for three years rather than all the first years. So one team will take on like the job of hosting a tournament. I think the first tournament for us was a chance to prove what we could do. There were sort of a lot of questions about how our team was going to do because we were all older players. At first we were going to this tournament and we were like, man, we're only going with like 14 people, which is basically a third less of whatever other team brought to that tournament. And we look at our pool and we're like, we got McGill, who we know is a tough team. And we have Maple Rush, which is like one of the Ottawa U teams. And you know, we have a relationship with a lot of them because we played with them for a long time. And we started off the first game against Maple Rush, who we, I think we were a little bit confident going into, but you never know how a new team's gonna play for the first time. We still didn't play that well, and we ended up winning. At that point, we were like, man, we need to get it together because this is the team we should probably be beating by like 150. <laughs> And then we played the GGs, which was like the game because, you know, these are all the people we played with for the last like year and a half. We went to Florida, we went to Myrtle Beach together, a lot of our old teammates. A lot of them we taught how to play and they really wanted to beat us and prove that like, hey, you know, you guys left us, we're going to beat you now. We're like, hey, you know, we're not going to let you beat us because we don't want to lose. And beating them with a lot of bias on us from like referees and a lot of people not wanting us to succeed was really nice. So that game was honestly the most fun game we've had all year so far. And it was really, really close. Um, we ended up winning and going to the finals because of it. North Star win! And then we played McGill in the finals, and uh, I think that's when our tired legs caught up and they kind of beat us really bad. And that did not feel good. Uh, we got completely wrecked, completely outplayed, which wasn't, I think, something that we were expecting from ourselves, and we were really disappointed with it. So we're kind of looking to play McGill again, and get a little bit of revenge for that. <laughs> I think that if the team wasn't doing well and wasn't winning or placing well at tournaments, I think a lot of people would lose their motivation to come out and it would become sort of a social recreational thing as opposed to the way that we play, which is competitive. Uh, I think in general this tournament was pretty cool because uh, 
pretty much none of the teams had their full roster there, which is something that North Star is really used to, but it was interesting seeing how other teams were adapting to not having their full 21 or not having lines that usually work well together. So yeah, playing against the GGs is definitely, it's a difficult game because they're a strong team, but it's also on the mental side of it is a lot more difficult than a lot of the other games we usually play. It's really hard to play against people who play a very similar style to you and can sort of call your bluffs and know how you're going to play. I think one of the things that we do well against the GGs is we played with a lot of them and sort of helped a lot of them grow. So we know a lot of the ways that some of their top and their more experienced players play. Uh, and they're a really fast team that's really good at quick passes, so the way that we play against them is to slow it down a lot more. Um, and we did that well, so we beat them. I think we definitely had a lot to prove playing against Miguel in the second tournament. I think we were all hoping to redeem ourselves, but then in the back of our minds we're also worrying, you know, what happens if we play them and we hit another wall and we get outplayed again. So I think we were all we were all a little bit nervous about it and we all had a lot to prove with it. So we were tied uh, going into pretty much when the snitch was supposed to come back onto the field. And we had one of our captains, Steve, who had a concussion from the Montreal tournament so wasn't going to actually play. Uh, Steve came running back to the field and didn't know the score, but had a clear shot at the snitch, so dove kind of unsafely on his concussed head uh, to try to catch the snitch, and it ended up that we were tied, so we ended up winning that one by 30 points. To play, to play against a team that had beat us so badly at the last tournament and to come out on top felt really great. And then for a lot of individuals on our team who had been playing for U Ottawa for three or four years, in all the time that we've been playing, when we come up against McGill, we've never won. So for a few of our players, that was a victory that was about four years in the making, so it felt pretty good. As funny as it is to run around for broom, a lot of people do take it seriously and they like to, to win, so I mean, like, give it your all, and I mean, at the end of the day, go have fun. It's just the game, you know, enjoy it. There's not really a set type of person who is like the ideal Quidditch athlete. You get people coming in from a lot of different sport backgrounds and who come in because they like the sport, who come, who come in because they like Harry Potter and it's just a really cool group of people.